everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jonathan here with another video on Enscape 4.1. This just dropped and this is definitely gonna make a huge impact to your architectural and rendering workflows. I wanna take a time to look at some of these amazing new features with you today. And I'm really impressed by some of the new rendering quality and features we're seeing built into Enscape. So let's take a little look at the features. Indeed, if you go to the Enscape page, you can download the update. And if you have a quick scroll down, you'll see that some of the new, new features are listed here. So some of the nice new listed features here are Enscape Impact Beta Add-on. Uh, this basically is something I'm not going to be testing today, but I'll look forward to doing in future videos for you. And basically it can look at things like energy performance and give you visualization of your building. One thing that I'm super excited about is to see how the new Chaos AI Enhancer works. D5 Render just introduced uh, AI into their rendering a little while ago. So this is gonna be quite exciting to see what difference this makes within Enscape. So let's take a look at this together. And one feature that I've really wanted for ages is the artistic render modes. And these look absolutely amazing. So I'm really excited to be testing these with you as well. We've now got things like colored shadows as well, which is a nice benefit, as well as some nice new people and vegetation assets to take a look at and integrated graphics support. So we've got better support for things like AMD and iGPUs as well. So a whole host of additional features as well in this article you can take a look at. But let's jump into the video and take a look at these wonderful new features of Enscape 4.1. Okay, so here we are in, of course, my favorite program for CAD, 3D and BIM, which is, of course, Vectorworks. Now, many of my clients use Vectorworks across all industries from architecture to landscape and interior design for many, many good reasons. So let's take a look at how Enscape can work with a little project that I developed a little while ago. And this is actually just a pure fancy project for something I called the Cube House. It was a really fun little project to do and basically I'm really quite excited to see how Enscape handles this. So if we have a quick look at the model in Vectorworks you can see it's got a nice bit of detail with a little bit of internal furniture inside as well. So I think this will make a great little example for Enscape. So here we go, let's launch Enscape with a single click. So once you've downloaded it and installed it for your various software, remember with Vectorworks all you need to do is just go install partner products and basically if you don't find it onto the partner products here you will actually with the installer be able to go down to partner products and escape add to your workspace so very straightforward to install okay so next up we just click down onto the Enscape down on the tool sets here and we go to Enscape renderer there's only really one choice to make about the resolution that you want to export the model i'm going to go for medium fine which will be fine for now and when I'm ready, I can actually click onto the Start Enscape button. So with a single click, I've now launched Enscape and you can see here is the model from Vectorworks in the Enscape uh, model. And already I have to say it looks pretty good. One thing that I really do like about Enscape is the way it kind of like translates things like the Vectorworks water, it just makes that water look really nice in Enscape. Same thing really for the things like the grass as well. You know, that looks a lot nicer in Enscape than it does in Vectorworks as well. So this is really 100% Vectorworks. I uh, haven't really done anything in Enscape at all as yet. So the very first thing I'm going to do is basically just show you one little feature that I just want to remind you of, which is basically the syncing. So let me just slide across my Enscape screen and let's just get my Vectorworks screen and slide that across as well to so this dock it onto this side, if I may. So with this split screen mode, you can see if I just do one little trick, which is to hide my palettes as well, let's auto hide those side palettes there. Now you can see we've got a pretty good little setup here. And if I basically rotate the model around in Vectorworks, we've got this lovely view syncing that you will also find in things like D5 Render. So kind of live syncing for the view and also the modeling at the same time as well. So really, really nice benefit. Okay, so here we are in Enscape and you can see the model is already looking really fantastic and we can have a really nice sort of look around in real time as of course you would expect with Enscape. So let's get down to, I think we'll have a look at this lovely side here with this pool and let's just sort of set up a rather nice little view that we're interested in and let's start looking at these new features. So it's all working very, very nicely. So if I go up into the visual settings You'll notice that we've now got some really nice additional view settings under the mode. So when I click mode, we had these three before, as well as light view, but now we've actually got a sketch view. 
So immediately I can put Enscape into sketch mode and now we can have a look at some of these settings that are available. So we've got kind of like different outlines, uh, thicknesses, depending on how sketchy you want it. Let's just go for the normal one. We can also introduce a little bit of jitter. So it just kind of makes it look a bit more wobbly and wiggly. And I love this. We can extend those lines just to get that kind of nice sketchiness as well. But look at this. This is all sort of real time. Um, so I can kind of move around my model. I can animate and render views just like I would in any other kind of program, but in this wonderful kind of sketch mode that I can just turn on and off. So really, really fantastic. There's a couple of other options in here, like some uh, hatching as well, I've noticed. That's quite fun. So if you want to make it look even more sort of sketch-like, this will work quite nicely for you. Let's have a look at some of the other options as well. So at the moment, I'm in the pen mode. So let's just take a look at pencil. So pencil is similar to pen. Let's turn off the hatching. Um, and again, all of these things can be applied, things like the sketching and the extension lines and things like the jitter as well. Finally, my favorite one, I think, is this one, the colored pencils. I quite like this. I like the sort of simplicity of the rendering here. And this really gives it that nice sort of very artistic sort of creative effect that you might be looking for at say early concept stage as well. So what do you think about the new render modes yourself? Have you tried these? Is it something that you will be interested in trying? Please let me know in the feedback. I would love to get your comments and it's always nice to hear your thoughts. So finally, the one that I really want to show you is this new one called the watercolor. So let's drop down to watercolor effect. And I love this. I think this is absolutely a really, really nice effect. And basically I can animate, I can render out visuals and work and very sort of uh, conceptual development ideas without getting too realistic. So let's just have a look at some of these options within here. So let's slide the color bleed up a little bit to maybe 100%, see what effect that has. You know, we should find that within the view management, if we do want to go to the view management, that we can actually kind of create a view here. So let's just scroll down to create that view. And what this should do is recall not only the view, but also all of the rendering styles itself. So let's go ahead and create the view. While I'm here, of course, I love this in Enscape. Uh, you always get the ability just to kind of modify things like those shadows as well. Okay, so let's take a look at how this can look on the interior. And I want to show you this amazing new AI technology that's built in as well. And basically, I'm just gonna kind of walk up to my model and let's see if we can kind of walk into the source. I want to show you a really neat trick. So let's just drop the viewer height down. That's a nice height there. But basically, watch this. I'm going to select these doors, scroll down within the visualization settings in Vectorits, and basically just show those doors fully open. So here they are open in uh, Enscape now. So now we're free to get our walkthrough tool. Shift and U is the keyboard shortcut in Vectorworks if you're interested. And basically, we can now kind of walk through in real time. So look at this lovely model. I can basically kind of move around in real time using Vectorworks and Enscape as my visualization software and get this lovely view. Now, if you are ready to go and change the view in Enscape, what you can do, of course, is turn off the view syncing and let's just maximize Enscape. So now here we can adjust our view and do things like, let's just kind of move forward and backwards using the keys on the keyboard in Enscape. I could also, if I wanted to adjust that lighting, um, use the U key and the I key just to kind of change that light coming into the model. So here we are at night time and basically if I just use the U and the I key you can see the time flashing up down here when I change that early morning sun coming into the design and then swinging around to that lovely afternoon. Okay so I've set up a nice little image in Enscape and I'm keen to look at the AI visualizer. So just to double check what resolution I'm doing, I've gone to full HD for now, but let's try it in uh, 4K in a moment. So all I'm gonna do basically is click AI Enhancer. It looks like it wants me to save the image into the location that I'm saving in. So that will kind of render out that particular image. And then this should actually generate the AI on top to enhance my image even further. So super excited to see this AI enhancement being built directly into our rendering software. D5 Render has just introduced this. Uh, so now to see this in Enscape is really, really interesting. Of course, if you haven't tried the AI Visualizer in Vectorworks yet, make sure you do. I've had some amazing results with it and it's super good fun to play with. So have you used AI technology in your workflow? It'd be really interesting to get your feedback and hear in the comments. 
Okay everybody, so the AI image is now rendered and basically I thought I'd start with showing you the one that wasn't AI. So this is just a normal HD render and you can see, you know, as I zoom in, we've got limited resolution, starting to get a few of the jaggies just because it was an HD render. So let me flick over to the AI enhanced image and you'll notice for a start that it's got much nicer lighting quality, uh, much better things like reflections and enhancements as well. But the other really nice thing with this is it has far more resolution. So it's actually upscaled the image quite dramatically. Uh, so instead of eating up render time, rendering really, really big images using the AI technology that has done the upscaling as well as the image enhancement. So pretty impressed so far from what I've seen with the new AI image enhancement built into Enscape. I'm looking forward to trying this out for sure. So I do hope you've enjoyed this wonderful new uh, Enscape version that we've got here with all these nice new non-photorealistic rendering. But of course, the main reason that people love Enscape is the quality of this rendering and the fact it works so well on Mac and Windows, particularly on Mac as a Mac user because we don't have as much access to all the real-time rendering software that we do have on Windows. And I, for one, have been really enjoying using the new version of Enscape with Vectorworks on my Mac. So I do hope you enjoy this. Let me know if I can help with any teaching or training or even software sales. Basically, I've been an expert in Vectorworks and Twinmotion and Enscape for about 20 years now. I've been doing 3D and I would love to assist any of you worldwide with any training wherever you are. So just reach out to me and we can have a chat. So thanks so much for watching everybody. I really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, little session on Enscape for basically 4.1. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.